All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts. With respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists, this guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot speed, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Victor Athena Belfort! And now to defeat his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Oslo, Norway, Jack the Joker Hermansson! All right, great to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, cannot fight. They touch gloves and we are underweight. start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just then. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. 
Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie now. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Nice kick. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Oh, huge right hand! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big knee to the body. Oh! Got the single collar tie. Nice leg kick land. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Five seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Switching stances here. Look at the turn in that kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken. No. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot <laughs> takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Lands with the ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lands the ground and pound strike. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, 
just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Belfort gets up, he is back on the feet here. Nice strike. Straight right hand, no good. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his Oh, fight. he might be out. So that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Third round underway. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down the opponent. Belfort gets caught with that punch. Yeah, he tries to get those hands up. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's got to go chase that finish. That down. one appeared to stun him. Oh, big left. This is such a crazy fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately oh. on the right side of his body. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Takedown defense holds up. Oh. And he landed the right hand there. Tries to work it into a takedown. Block that kick to the body. That one stuck in. Nice strike. And they sit. Oh! He's hurt. Trade him up. Go get him. He is getting lit up right now, John. Single collar tie there. Caught that kick right, there. Right, so he catches the leg here. Now goes for the takedown. It's there. Beautiful. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, side control now. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's gotta get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. 
he got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Let's go fight. right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Lands the right hand. Blocks that strike. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. And there comes the separation now. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Again, they will clinch. Big kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Punch over the top. Oh, collar tie. Oh! He's out! He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Vitor the Phenom Belfort. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.